Pig farming has slowly gained more attention from farmers across Kenya. The demand for pork and bacon is there, pigs are easy to feed and keep, and the venture is profitable. For many pig farmers, however, the market has been a challenge, as for many years the market was dominated by few players and butchery retailers. In today's episode of Smart Pigs, we visit a farm and company that is about to change the story for many pig farmers. King Quality Meat, previously known as Better Pork Limited, is a pig farm and slaughterhouse located in Kitengela, Kajiado County. The slaughterhouse sources pigs from across Kenya. We visited the farm and talked to Teresa Wanja, the finance manager at the institution, who gave us a background of the pork slaughterhouse. Uh, then, the company was registered under the name Better Pork Limited. That was <clears throat> back in 2013, and it has operated with that name until early this year, 2019, where we thought of including other goods other than pork, but we're only dealing with, with uh, meat. So that is it. So we shifted from Better Pork Limited to any bus, sell other meat products like chicken, beef, matok, and any other type of meat. And that is why we changed the name from Better Pork Limited to accommodate the other meat products. So the current name is King Quality Meat. We, we like to call it KQM. As a finance manager, my job involves uh, procurement of pigs, procurement of raw materials, ensuring farmers are paid on time, ensuring suppliers are paid on time, uh, contacting farmers, liaising with customers to know or to get their feedback about the quality of the meat we've supplied them. The company started in 2012 as a pig farm. Just like any other pig farmer, Mr. Kingori started with three pregnant sows, which gave him piglets that he reared until seven months when they were ready for sale. At the time, the only available market for pigs was one buyer who would select the pigs they wanted and leave the rest. In his case, only five pigs out of 30 were selected, leaving him with 25 pigs, which he had to incur an extra cost of feeding. This is when the idea of starting a pig slaughterhouse was birthed. Mr. Kingori slaughtered one pig and shared with his friends, then another, and the rest, as they say, is history. Uh, he started by slaughtering one, he shared with friends, then in a week, he could slaughter one or two, and <clears throat> that is where the journey began. So after that, people started to consume pork in Kitengela in our, and the environment. So the number of pigs slaughtered increased, and as the number of pigs slaughtered increased, he also expanded the, the slaughterhouse. And uh, when the slaughterhouse was, uh, was expanded, and the market was growing, the number of pigs at the farm could not sustain now the market. Pig farming initially faced one major challenge in Kenya, the myths surrounding pork and the belief that pigs are dirty. With more pig farmers mushrooming around, the population started to embrace pork and with an increased demand for pork, his own farm was unable to continue meeting the demand for meat at the slaughterhouse. He therefore started buying pigs from other farmers and that is how his pig slaughterhouse expanded. So, 
after that, people started to consume pork in Kitengela in our, and the environment. So the number of pigs slaughtered increased. And as the number of pigs slaughtered increased, he also expanded the, the slaughterhouse. And uh, when the slaughterhouse was, uh, was expanded and the market was growing, the number of pigs at the farm could not sustain now the market. And that is where he now started buying from other farmers. The journey has been good. The slaughterhouse has really grown. Uh, people have accepted to eat pork. You know, Kitambo, people never used to like pork because of... Uh, uh, they have certain beliefs. You know, people say that pork is dirty, or rather, the pigs are dirty. But now, when people visited the farm, they saw the environment, they saw that pigs can really be clean, then they were encouraged. And also, you know, pork is very soft. It is not like uh, any other meat. So we, once they, they got used to it, then the consumption really increased. The slaughterhouse buys pigs from across the country as the demand is too high and their farm alone cannot sustain. The pigs are sourced from farms across the country, including farms in parts of western Kenya and Kisumu. At least 30 pigs are slaughtered and sold out every day at the facility. Uh, we source our pigs from all over the country uh, because like, our own farm is located in Loitoktok, Kimana. That is where our farm is. And we have a lot of farms that we have assisted come up there. We also get our supplies from them. We source pigs from Namanga, Nyeri, Muranga, Kiambu, uh, Naivasha, Nakuru, Maimahio, Narok. We sometimes also get pigs from Kisumu and even parts of Kakamega. So it is across the country. As a pig farmer with pigs ready for the market, one would ask what exactly is the process of selling the pigs to king quality meat? Triza tells us more. Okay, our processes are very simple. If you are a farmer and you want to bring pigs to us, we are all over in uh, social media. We are in Facebook, we are in Instagram, we are in uh, we have a website and uh, we're also in Google Maps. So we have our contacts in all those sites. So if you, you, you want to bring your pigs, you just search for us. You, once we make a call, then we start now the process. So you can search for us uh, under the name King Quality Meat Kenya in all the social media platforms, that is Facebook, Instagram, in Google Maps, you will see our name and you will also see our contacts. So you just call, then the, start, the process starts there. We prefer pork that weighs 80 kg live weight because as our name says, we are looking for quality. Uh, we don't want uh, to give our customers something that is not of good quality. And in pork, quality comes with the kilo of the, the pokers. Once a farmer establishes contact with the company, the farm will send a veterinary officer to inspect the pigs before they are transported to the slaughterhouse. Upon arrival, the pigs are weighed and the live weight recorded in the presence of the farmer. The pigs will then be slaughtered, sold and payments made in two days. We set a date for you to deliver. Then once you deliver, the process starts with uh, the vet who inspects the, the pigs when they are alive. We also weigh live weight so that before you, you go back, you have your live weight printed. Then from there, we start now the slaughtering process. We slaughter the, the normal process of slaughtering a pig. Then we weigh the carcass and after now, the meat has been inspected and it passes the, the inspection. The, <clears throat> the meat inspection, 
then we are able to pay the farmer. Normally, the payment is immediately, a day or a day or two days after slaughtering, then you can get your payment. The company also runs a retail butchery where residents who live around the slaughterhouse can buy meat directly from them. They also plan on expanding into processed meat such as sausages and bacon. As you have seen, we have already started to process. We want to add value. Uh, we have constructed the room, we have bought a few machines and we are going to add to make sure that now we start processing. Okay, we hope to process sausages, bacon, and uh, other pork products as well. We then met Elias Njiguna, the slaughterhouse administrator, who took us through the daily routine of the slaughterhouse. Once they arrive, they are put in the resting place, where they are checked they are in good condition. Yeah. And then they, after checking they are in good condition, we weigh li uh, live weight. The live weight will guide us what we have, the, it guide us or the, the stock we have. Because we, we can calculate the percentage of the, of the meat out of the weight you, you have. After weighing, after weighing the live weight, we, there is, a, there is a, a paper that is printed and uh, we, we record. After, after weighing the live weight, the, other ne the next step is throttling. The throttling is done at night from, from 12 midnight up to the, mon up to the morning. We take a short commercial break. We'll be back with more from the pork slaughterhouse. Thank <laughs> you.